All right, guys, Austin Atkinson here with Hunt Full. Hey, we've been getting quite a few questions from our members regarding the Arizona draw process and the changes that have been made for 2016 and how that's going to affect the deer and sheep draw coming up. Don't forget the deadline is June 14th to apply. So let's go through a couple of the breakdowns. Hopefully this will help you choose the units that you're going to apply for um, and kind of see how the draw really works. So we'll start with sheep. So bighorn sheep are lumped together in just a species draw. It's not per hunt. They essentially will look at all applicants that have applied for sheep, deserts and Rockies. So this year there's 105 sheep tags total. That's a breakdown of 89 deserts and 16 Rockies. If you apply for sheep, you're going into this draw, okay? Remember, you can have two choices, and you can mix and match desert and rocky on your choices uh, between your first and second choice. So as you know, there's still a 10% non-resident cap for all draws in Arizona. Non-residents can have up to 10% of the available tags. Now for deer and elk and antelope, that's per hunt, per hunt code. For sheep and bison, it's for the whole species. So essentially, non-residents can have 10 tags this year. 10 sheep tags for non-residents. So you have to look at hunts that have more than one tag available. A, tag, a unit that only has one tag available, it is not available for non-residents. So you will not be able to apply for that. You need to look for the hunts that have two or more. All right, so let's look at each of the passes that happen in this sheep draw. The first pass is called the bonus pass, okay? Now remember, we're trying to get our up to 10%, okay, or 10 tags, our non-resident quota. In the first pass is the bonus pass. Up in this pass, we award 21 tags this year, which is essentially 20% of all 105 tags available. 21 tags have to be given in this bonus pass. Okay. So what they're going to do is they're going to look at the guys with the most points, which is our 27 point level for this year, 107 residents, five non-residents. They're going to randomize that pool and they're going to award the 21 lowest random numbers their tags. Looking at their first and second choice, pending the guy in front of them did take their choice. Okay, so they're going to give 21 tags there. Now, this is what's new for this year. Our 10% is divided between first pass and our second pass. Okay, so this is the change for 2016. The 10% non-resident cap is divided between the first and second pass. The Game and Fish has guaranteed that it can't be over 5%, okay, in the bonus pass. This isn't going to matter on sheep because there's only five non-residents going into this draw. So essentially, it's not going to matter. We still have up to 10% in our second pass, which the second pass is also called the 1-2 pass, meaning it looks at your first and second choice. So they give out these 21 tags in the bonus pass. They're going to residents mostly. Hopefully a non-resident gets lucky and draws a tag. Now they come down to us. This is our random pass. In the random pass, they're gonna take everybody. They're gonna clear their draw pool, clear the random numbers, start over. They're gonna take everybody, regardless of point level, and award them as many random numbers as they have bonus points, plus their year, that year's application. So the guys with 27 points will get 28 chances at getting the lowest random number. They randomize them, they go to the lowest guy, and they're gonna start looking at his first and second choice. Now your first or second choice could be a desert, could be a rocky. As long as that tag is still available, you can draw it in this random pass. This is where non-residents are gonna draw the tags this year, if at all. So we can get our up to 10%, Pending, we didn't take any of our percentage in the bonus pass with these five guys, and we're going to get it in the random pass. 
Now, one more note about the bonus pass. If for some reason all of these applicants apply for the same unit that only has, say, two tags, and those two tags are given to the first two guys and everybody else applied to the same, they would bump down to the next bonus point level and start awarding those guys. That's hypothetical. It's not going to happen because most of these 112 guys are applying for units all over the state just trying to draw a tag. <clears throat> what that does though in the random pass, if your tags are taken, even if you're first out of the gate with your first choice, if your bonus point holders took your tag, you're out. You have no chance. So we see non-residents in this random pass that are applying for units like 22, 24B South, you know, 37A, even 44B North. A lot of times those units are all taken and all allocated in this bonus pass. So if those are your choices, you don't have a shot. Now, there is a chance that these top guys won't apply for those units, but highly unlikely. If you've been waiting 25 years for a tag, you're going to put in for the best units and just wait until you either die or get a tag. That's pretty much how it goes. So apply for some units that do have more tags that aren't taken from these maximum point holders. This is where you could draw up to 10% so we can get you know, our 10 tags total in this draw in the random pass. They also do a third pass. Doesn't matter on sheep because there's no leftovers, okay? So no point in putting your third, fourth, or fifth choice on your application. It's a waste of time. This pass only happens for tags that are left over after this draw. Not gonna happen on sheep, okay? So that's, that's pretty much how this draw is gonna work for sheep this year. Choose a unit that's not taken by maximum point holders usually um, and apply for two choices, rocky or desert, looking at hunts that have at least two plus tags available, okay? Units that only have one tag available, you're out. Non-resident cannot apply for that, okay? We can only take one tag. If there's two to four tags total, we can only have one. If there's five plus tags available, we can have two tags. That's it. So don't look at the units that only have one tag available. You won't see them covered in our magazine. We only cover hunts that have a chance at a non-resident tag. Don't choose the units that are taken by the, you know, your max point holders unless you happen to have maximum points. So choose those ones that have multiple tags. You've got a random chance. Hopefully you draw a sheep tag this year.